Welcome back. So in this video we'll be looking at receiving messages from the spirit world. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Charlie Kelly and on this channel we demystify the spirit world, uh, a no-nonsense approach, so subscribe if you aren't already. So what is it about receiving a message from the spirit world? A lot of us are, are, are going out to public demonstrations or we have readings done by mediums and then we look for a message. I think a lot of this has been um, uh, uh, created over many, many years uh, of public demonstrations uh, on receiving the message. What we need to understand is that the message is a collective message for one and all within the room. The, the message actually is that life goes on after life. There is something else. Now, what we have done over many, many years of training and over development and then going out and teaching that, we needed to kind of learn to tie up communications. We needed a like a cut-off point. What do I do? How do I stop this? How do I move on to someone else? And, and, and there's one extreme to the absolute opposite extreme. So we started to formulate a format as such called CERT, which was a, a, a communicator, uh, the evidence, the reason for coming, then tie it up and move on. And so what happened is everyone started to work in this way. When actually the evidence of the communicator is all we need, that's what we need to do. So we need to sum up how to get the message over to the client stroke recipient stroke loved one. Now what you'll have is uh, two variations, you'll have, or, or maybe three variations, You'll have one that sticks to kind of like a regulation kind of time, which we, we deem appropriate around seven to 10 minutes. So if you've got like a, a, an hour set to do, you're gonna get through sort of six or seven communications, uh, which would be uh, normal. Um, and it feels like uh, the, the evening's moving on quite well uh, and you're not staying with one person too long and not short enough by just throwing it out uh, and, and doing minimal kind of work. We have the other extreme where we'll go to a demonstration there will be 50 people in the audience and I've, I've been there where uh, the, the chairperson has gone, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get through them all tonight. I don't know if you're going to be able to give everyone a message. And there's 50 people in the audience. Uh, and I immediately outright stop that idea. Absolutely not. I won't get through it. It will be six or seven that I do. Uh, to which the chairperson will usually be annoyed. Um, and I usually won't return to that centre because of, of what happens. Now, to do that in... Uh, uh, an hour sitting and you've got 50 people there you're looking at just over a minute uh, uh, per communication and it'll be like I've got your mum no I've got your nan and um, and she tells me to give you a flower uh, she loves you chin up move on you know I've got your granddad here and he says get rid of her uh, get rid of him get rid of him he's no good for you because that's how he was in life he's looking after you so the lady over the back there so on and so forth it's not evidential it's not it's not it's not mediumship. Then you'll have the opposite to that, where you'll go to a demonstration, it'll be an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half, uh, uh, and you'll have four communications. They're doing 15, 20 minute sessions per client. Now the evidence is going to be there, it's gonna to have to be there to stay with a client that long and after every statement you are still getting a yes. The evidence is gonna be there. But the problem is, is that's more more in the realms of a one-to-one -one than it is of a public demonstration, especially if you have 50 people, uh, as the example there, uh, and you're only talking to four people because they're 15 to 20 minute links. This is usually along the lines of uh, a high caliber uh, a venue or, or something like a theater uh, where where there will be an interval when you've done three and then you'll go off and you'll have an interval and then you'll come back and you'll get another three. Uh, and it just feels like you're bored and you don't really want it to sort of um, uh, carry on really. You're looking, you're looking at the, the time and you, you kind of want to go. So what we try to do is stick to this uh, time format of seven to 10 minutes. It just seems to work well and everyone feels like they're part of the evening. 
it gets to the end of the communication uh, and we need a message and usually we can we can all make it generic i mean it's like the star signs that you read in the in your magazines or in the newspaper and you have a quick glance at your at your star sign and it will from time to time absolutely hit the spot you know you're like oh my god that's just weird it, it's it's landed exactly as i expected it to today that is so accurate that is certainly for me and other times you'll be like, nonsense, absolute nonsense, it makes no sense to me. And, and this happens during a demonstration also. So uh, uh, the information that's being given is not really helping, or it's so generic that it can fit anyone at any time within the room. So what we've got to try and do is understand that the message, as I said at the start of the video, is, is that life is eternal. That's the purpose of mediumship. It's not about going through your relationship or your finances or, or the difficulties that you're going through your life. However, of course they want to support that. Of course they want to guide you in the right way. I can promise you with the characters that I've worked with in the spirit world, they will support any decision that you make. Obviously, they want it to be the right decision or a, or a good decision, something that's going to benefit you in life. Uh, and if, for some reason, you are, you are taking a bad turn in your life and things are going on the down and you don't really know what to do and things are just getting worse, they will still come in and support what it is that you're doing in whichever way, hoping to guide or, or, or certainly give the idea that there can be good made from this scenario. Find the right path, turn your life around uh, uh, for the best possible uh, journey that you can currently offer. They will always do that. They love you. They are there at all times. So we need to uh, um, give it some clout. We need, to, we need to really hit the mark on some of these messages and some will just fall into the generic. There, there can be that, that you know, you're not really striking it off with the client. The, the the relationship between you and the recipient is not really hitting off, and you can make it kind of generic. Um, and and for, that could be for whatever reason. Maybe my energy is not working with her energy, or or his energy. And, and equally, they may not like me as a person or as a demonstrator, and they just want the communication to end. That's going to happen. That's just experience that will help you get through that process. And other times people are really looking for a, a, a direct way to go. They are really, really needing some sort of clarity. However, it's not the spirit world's job to tell you what to do or where to go. So the spirit world won't do that. So we can guide it in on something. We can give them some upliftment. You know, maybe they have made like a huge decision. Let's take one that's very, very generic, like a, a relationship breakdown. They've been in a marriage that has not seen love for maybe 20 years uh, and you finally decided that you're going to call it a day and you're going to go your separate way and and now you're wobbling on the idea what have I done what am I going to do and and all that kind of stuff the spirit world will come in and support that and what they will do is offer strength you know you have made the right decision and, and now it's about uh, finding you and finding fulfillment in this life that you are now making they will support that issue there the other thing that we see out there is that you can make a psychic link uh, uh, to the client. What is it they want to hear? And a good trained psychic will absolutely be able to get that information uh, uh, from your energy. Uh, you may be sitting there going, I just want you to tell me uh, it's going to be okay. I just want you to tell me uh, is it right to, to keep the child or not? You know, that kind of stuff, it'll be there. Uh, within your energy uh, and a good psychic will pick that up from the platform not from the spirit world from the platform what I don't like is when they say it's from the spirit world um, so is it right or is it wrong that's not the point of the video uh, but this is the the kind of things that we go through when going to receive a message from the spirit world now for those of you that are in development and this is a, a touchy point a, 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 an area where you you kind of struggle and you don't know what to do or how to formulate the message. What I do in my uh, demonstrations when I'm working from a public platform is I lead the spirit world onto it. So what your mum has come to say today is dot dot dot. At that point, I uh, um, move my mind to the spirit world and let mum fill it in. So what mum's come today to tell you is 
and then I will be influenced. I'll have the idea uh, formulate in my mind, then I can express it quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can. We can, again, fall into the generic, and it may be that. It may be something that is generic, but there will be something very touching within that. I see the spirit world as a world of intelligence, and I believe that that one communication from mum, given in that scenario, uh, with what I've described and presented, at least another two or three people at the end of the demonstration will go, do you know what, I understood like 90% of that message. Uh, the evidence wasn't kind of uh, all my mum, but a lot of it made me think of my mum. And I don't think that's me that's doing that. I think the spirit world has taken the opportunity to touch three or four minds during the one communication. And that may lead them on to go home and have strength to make the decisions that they need to make uh, to better fulfill their lives. So if, if you're struggling with the message, try this new technique where we, where we go uh, and hand over to the spirit world. The reason they are here today is dot, dot, dot. Um, and see how that works for you. Um, and, and let me know in the comments if, if, if you are someone that is struggling with this uh, uh, process. But what I ask you to remember is that it's, we do it in love and light. They are there in love. They are there for support. They are there for upliftment. They are there uh, uh, for all the troubles that you are finding throughout your reality. They are there through all the bad times also. They are constantly there supporting us. And we need to remember that. That's something we need to remember. The message the spirit world want all of us to have is that life goes on. Your thoughts, your actions, the person that you are and have become uh, and that will leave behind is accountable. Everything is accountable. So do the right thing. Uh, even when no one's watching. Um, and that way, uh, your conscience is clear and you can move through life with a clear mind, knowing that the spirit world are there to support you and you are doing everything to the best you can with the ingredients that you have. Thanks for watching the video. Like if you liked it. Share in your groups, in your uh, on your other social media platforms. That would be wonderful. It will help me uh, and the channel grow, which is uh, why I'm doing this, uh, so we can touch as many minds as we possibly can. Um, engage in the channel. Let me know what you do, what you've seen, what's going on, to so the demonstrations that you watch. How do they operate? Get that down there in the comments for me, uh, so we can see and we can converse. I answer all the questions and the uh, comments that come into the channel. Uh, and I, I, I finished a live feed last night on Transisting Spirit, uh, um, a long live feed. It was about two hours long. Uh, thank you, Cheryl, for giving me the opportunity. Uh, if you're not part of that closed group on Facebook, um, it's Translating Spirit. Uh, go have a look and let them know that I sent you their way. Um, that would be great because they gave me that opportunity to talk there last night. Uh, and now um, I very need to turn this camera off, quickly edit it, upload it for you guys to see, pack a suitcase and then make my way to Geneva for the next few days. So if I get another one recorded, it will be pre-recorded. Uh, if not, I will see you early part of next week. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.